Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. One more thing I noticed right here is that I thought that this new star... Let's look at this. I thought that this star was the gate. That last place that we were just at doing the first purple coin challenge ever. But that is not right because it still says new. So I was thinking, and I'm pretty sure that that is the center of the universe. That's what it means, this place. So when we go and fight the final Bowser, that will go away. But now that we have that figured out, let's go and check out what is on the very, very top of the Comet Observatory. Because I really do not know what it's called. It's not the engine room, because that is where we have been for the longest time. It's the place above the engine room. We're going to check it out. Also, we can fly here now. I could have just flown. That would have been a lot easier. Oh, there's that hungry Luma. We'll handle that after. The garden. Oh my gosh, I remember this place. This place is awesome. Listen. Just birds. No sound or anything. I love it. So much. Alright, let's see what galaxies are in here. We did unlock all of them as usual, guys. This is like a... a not a rare occurrence. It happens all the time, I, s I guess. Okay. Goes in order. This is 52, 46, 48, and I don't know. So, let's start with 46, because that is the lowest number. Deep Dark Galaxy. Let's fly here. If you remember me talking last time about some type of easter egg involving that gate planet that we were on collecting the purple coins. This is the galaxy that has that little little thingy. The underground ghost ship. Ooh, spooky. Underground ghost ship. All right. Before we go to that underground ghost ship, I'm going to show you this little easter egg. I'm not quite sure if we can get to it now because this is the first star in this galaxy, but you know what? We'll give it a try. I guess you can. Shoot yourself right through that tree and over here. This is a miniature version of the gate. If you look at it. That's that house that I was saying it would be nice if we could go into it. And you can see there's no one home. What you have to do here is you unscrew it and it starts deflating. And you have to collect the coins. You pretty much just run around and collect the coins. There they are. Try and collect as many as you can. Don't worry, when it explodes, you will not die. I don't think you get anything for collecting all the coins either. Whoa, I gotta go. <laughs> Alright, what we really have to do is go back to that planet that had all those things that were shooting um, rocks at us. But on the way there, we have to get the star. So that way we can kill- oh, I missed the star, I fail. What we're really here for is to get this fire flower, though. So let's just grab that and run back. It's a lot easier to go back without these things throwing shit at you. Oh my god, they're going crazy! Like, batshit crazy. And you have to be quick. You gotta run over here. And I did it, just in time. Get out of here, you little crab. His little butt. And there's a magic Koopa. Hey, magic Koopa, get out of here. Thank you. Don't like you. All right, the underground ship. So we're gonna have to go down here. There's an arrow leading right there, so I'm guessing they're telling us to go in here. So we're going to listen to those directions. Because when someone gives you directions, you follow them. Unless that person's like an axe murderer and they're telling you to get in the back of their van, then you shouldn't listen to those directions. Oh, we have to hit this. Don't touch the jellyfish! 
Do you know that if you get stung by a jellyfish, like in real life, if you if someone pees on you, I think that like helps you not die. I don't know how or why that works, but I believe it. Human urine does some crazy stuff. Just like if you're in a boat and there's like sharks around you or whatever, if you pee and then like throw the pee somewhere else, the shark will follow that pee because sharks apparently like the smell of blood. Or like, yeah, the smell. That's what it is. And urine uh, has some, uh, some, what is it called? Common stuff with, blo with blood. And then you can make your escape! Speaking of Shark, Shark Week started, didn't it? I've never watched Shark Week before. I don't- Oh, I forgot that's fire. That's not what we want, we want the green stuff. Haven't we fought this lady before? This is a rematch! Give us that green stuff. Maybe I'll uh watch some Shark Week. Maybe this year will be the first year that I see what Shark Week is all about. What is in here? Boy, thanks. I have a feeling some crazy stuff is going on up there because it sounds like just constant fireballs everywhere. Yep, and I was right. Alright, kill those magic Koopa first because then you get them out of the way. If they don't come back, I'm pretty sure they don't respawn. Which makes it a heck of a lot easier. There we go. One more? I guess so. We gotta hit this bitch three, four times this time. She's not going down with just three. Come on, green stuff. Thank you! That was close! And the star is in the wand, isn't it? It's always in the wand! I don't know exactly what star power is. What do they use star power to do? Honestly, I have no idea. Star power. Well, I guess you could, like, get energy and stuff. But that- I don't understand what they would use that for. Like, magic. How that would convert into magic power. Oh, we're ten away from one, two, three, four. Too bad. No, thank you. Alright, let's head over to that Hungry Luma. Alright, Hungry Luma, I hope you're not too demanding, because I only have one, two, four, four. Hey, you got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch, I'll burst with snacky happiness and damage any 1200. We're only gonna have 44 left! It's like we just started this game. Look how fast this is going. Into his big mouth. There we go. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! It's like the progression of the Hungry Lumas are like the progression of the United States. People just like can eat more and more throughout the generations. Racing the spooky speedster. Are we racing this King Boo Jr. guy again? I guess so. Yes, we are. Spooky spread. Bones. And a skull. I like the skull. I like pirates. My Minecraft skin is me as a pirate. Speaking of Minecraft, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately. Trying to build my house. I really- I actually just bought it like, um, not too long ago. Wait, I have to race him as a ghost? This is gonna suck. <laughs> so you're after it too? You'll have to race me for it. For what? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. 
spooky sprint. Why is why, why is it all pixelated? This is weird. Uh oh. I have a feeling I should have gone down. Oh gosh, I'm going super fast. Oh god, stay away from those things, I'm guessing. That scared me. That's only there to scare you guys. Don't fall for it. He's catching up. Oh my god, this is really like trippy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I won! Oh, that spike pit reminded me so much of Mortal Kombat. Hehe, <laughs> 4983? Well, a promise is a promise, so take the star. Do you remember in Mortal Kombat, the spike pit, where you can do the finishing move and you uppercut someone and they fall down into the spike pit and are impaled by the spikes? Best level. Um, I think that's from Mortal Kombat 1. I'm not sure because I played it in Mortal Kombat trilogies, which is like 1 and 2 and some other stuff put together. But it's fun. I like it. We like it. Racing the spooky speedster, Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. Oh my gosh, I'm like rubbing my face right now. It's like really soft. I put cocoa butter on today because I ran out of regular lotion. So my mom gave me her cocoa butter and... Uh, best thing, guys. It's the best thing. I'm so soft right now. Alright, let's, <laughs> let's not stop rubbing ourselves and go somewhere else. Let me show you guys some, um, hidden secrets. No, that's not what I want to go. If you didn't already know this... Fly up here... All the way up to the top, and there's a one up right there. Right at the tippy top, but make sure you don't get impaled, because that would hurt. You actually can't die from that in this game. But you can fall. Flying makes everything a lot easier to get to. Alright, the slime's almost over. Let's just fly around and do the songens. There we go. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this one right here. Look at this lovely plush carpet. It looks like it would be so soft. Almost as soft as my face is right now. Anyways, I'm gonna end this one right here. That was a trippy-ass star. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching Super Mario Galaxy.